I'm Michael O'Leary and I watch all about sport on Cavan TV. For the best dress So should you. to All About Sport on CavanTV.com coming to you live from our studio at the Cavan Crystal Hotel Dublin Road, Cavan Town All About Sport is Ireland's first live web TV sports programme with nearly 2 million views in 212 countries worldwide Joining me on tonight's show is George Crow, former Leinster junior rugby player and coach with the very successful Cavan Ladies rugby team So George, you're very welcome to the show Thank you very much Great, well you're no stranger to All About Sport you joined me um, only maybe a month or so ago um, after the great success of the Cavan Ladies team. That's but correct, yes. We got t- chatting that night and you told me that you once played for Leinster. And I said to you, as a Cavan man, how did you end up playing for Leinster? So you're here to tell us your story. Well, I'll tell you the, <laughs> the short version of it. <laughs> yeah. it was, um, Not too <clears> short. <laughs> no, my uh, involvement with Cavan, Cavan were uh, playing in Leinster when they reformed in the early 70s and uh, then they had to they were put out of Leinster because they were so successful oh. and my year as captain of the club we won the town's second town's cup and we won the league and the second team on the league and the third team on the league so that, that was with Cavan with Cavan yeah. and we were playing in Leinster right and to win the town's cup that year we had to play all our cup matches away from home Okay. That was the agreement when, by going into Leinster. But following on, then uh, the Whigs in Dublin decided we were too successful and were too powerful, and they wanted us back up the north to play in, in Ulster. Right. So that's how that came about. So then, being in business and being working on a Saturday, my Saturdays were out. Yeah. So a friend of mine asked me whether I mind going over and playing in Lamford, which is only over the road. Yep. Yeah. So I said I'd give it a shot anyway, and within three weeks, I played with the thirds on a, on a Sunday. The following week, I played with the seconds, and the third Sunday, I played with the first. And then the season ended, and then the following season, I got noted by the Leinster hierarchy, and that's how that came about. Wow, what a proud moment. It was was it something you ever kind of, you know, thought that you'd see yourself kind of moving that progressing that much, you know, in rugby? No, I, well, I enjoyed the game, mm. and my physique w- w- helped as well. Yeah. But one thing about rugby, it's, it, there's a position in a rugby field for all sizes, which, yeah. is, which is great. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I was um, asked how I got involved with the Leinster team. Uh, I got a phone call one Tuesday night when I came in from training, to know that I go to Dublin the following night for a training session. And what about with the training? Or well, Cal- I was training with Cavan on the Tuesday night. Yeah, my, then- my, my week was Tuesday night in Cavan and Thursday night in Lamford. So I didn't right. have to go to yeah. Lamford two nights a week. Okay, yeah. So on the Wednesday night I went up to, uh, went down to Dublin uh, and to the Tarnier Rugby Club. Oh yeah, in Tarnier, and, yeah. Um, we had a training session, thought no more of it. Went down the training session and enjoyed it and Came in and we had our uh, soup and sandwiches after the game, after the training, and I was heading out the door. And this fellow said, "Where are you going?" I said, "I'm going home." <laughs> no, 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 no. He says, "You have to wait. The team's going to be announced shortly." I said, "What team?" He says, "The Leinster team's going to be announced shortly to play Ulster on Saturday." I said, "That doesn't concern me." And he says, "It does concern you." He says, uh, "You were here. You were brought up to train tonight uh, for a reason." And then the team was announced, and I was on. Wow, <laughs> you were literally out the door, yeah, back down no, the road to Cavan and... I thought no more, I thought it was only a training session, I went up to Dublin to help. I had a problem with the scrum, mm-hmm. and then scrummaging is a big part of, of, of the game of rugby, so I had a problem with that, and uh, they asked me would I join just for the night, I thought. Yeah. And then seven, for, I played with Leinster then for seven seasons. Wow. After that. 
What, what a, a remarkable mm. experience. So little did we know all this time we've had a Cavan man who secretly had paid for Leinster. So your, your secret's was, out. <laughs> yeah, but there was a very funny incident when, when, uh, when I got my first cap that Saturday. There was a meal afterwards and it was all uh, short and tie and um, the speeches and all that sort of stuff. But uh, the, it was the Ulster president made the presentation, my, my first cap, Leinster cap. Yeah. And as he presented me the, with the cap, he says, turncoat. <laughs> <laughs> that was only as a joke. Yeah, but, yeah, of course, course yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, you, you grab these opportunities mm. when, when they come to you. And like that, um, you know, playing with the Leinster team, they probably would have had a lot of, you know, cream of the crop and, and great rugby schools, you know, in Leinster That's and in, in, in kind of surrounding counties. So, you know, it must have been a great privilege to, well, to be from spotted a, and to be asked from to From a guy who never knew what a rugby ball was when I got married, to be playing with Leinster three years later, yeah. You so know, you were, it, was, it wasn't mm-hmm. something you got into from a young age. How did you get no, you know, no, involved no, in rugby? Was, uh, how I got involved with rugby is I, I married uh, Anne, who came from a Tipperary, from Osprey in Tipperary, and all her brothers went to Osprey College, and the rug, rugby is big in Osprey College. And she says, sure, go out to Cavan and give it a run and see how you enjoy it. So yeah. There it went, and that's where it started. And you've never looked back? No, enjoyed it ever since. So what was that kind of um, standout moment or the highlights of your time playing with Leinster? The one, my greatest moment was the captain in the Leinster team against the French universities in France, in Paris. Right, wow. And that weekend we happened to be the only team that won. Right. All the other Irish teams lost that weekend. And Van Esbeek was doing an article on the senior team, on the international team, and uh, he spent the whole weekend with us. Yeah. So that was, well, so, that was yeah. such a huge memory. Mm. Um, do you still meet up with your kind of former teammates, or are you still all in touch, or do you have kind of any no, we don't get together? No, no. no. Well, we meet at the, usually the Towns Cup final weekend. That's that's your that's a big buzz weekend. Yeah. You, no, we don't meet up. So did Ulster ever try to come and kind of poach you back and say, you know what, he's Cavan man, we want him on our team? <laughs> no, no. I had a son who got a, a couple of trials with them, with the Ulster side, yeah. but, he, but he didn't get. Didn't get any further than trials. Yeah. So it runs in the family. Your and son's obviously. I, I have a grandson who last last season got up for trials as well with the with the underage. Right, excellent. So you're promoting it all the way in the Crow family. That's right. That and sausages. And then <laughs> that, yes, that and sausages. Yes, for sausages is a big, big part of the business end yeah. of, of our lives. Yeah. Right. Brilliant. You have a huge mm. um, role to play with the Cavan Ladies rugby team. Um, you're their coach. Mm-hmm. And the girls have, uh, they've done so remarkably well over the past year. So like, it's a good thing. We're invited into the Ulster squad now, any of the girls who want to go. Yeah. And I send the names forward that of Great. those who I think yeah. uh, has potential, you know, to go ahead. Yeah, and lots of them do, as you're oh, yes, saying yeah, when they were yeah. in here. Um, so, uh, you know, a very mm. strong team overall. Mm. So you're, gonna, you're enjoying your time with the ladies rugby and seeing, I suppose, the successes they've, ha- they've had over the past number of years. It's a tremendous um, feeling to have a squad of girls who, who are so dedicated and want to win. Yeah. It's not as if the, the defeat doesn't come into the equation at all. And it's so easy to coach... And it's just to, to keep them focused is, is as hard as, as the actual uh, training part yeah. of it. But then I have a James Lignan with me, and he's brilliant at the as your physical end of it. So my job is just to more as the coach and uh, say, look, at, we've got to focus ourselves on this, that, and the other in the game, and which is good. Yeah, yeah brilliant. Mm. And um, I suppose you know you're like a big family up there in Cavan Rugby Club, and you really you know lots of things organised, and you know you really enjoy supporting each other, the men's and, and the underage teams as well. Um, it's something obviously you're very passionate about. Oh yes, uh, the underage structure is, is is huge up there now, and. Uh, on, on that, I have uh, Aaron's younger brother. Uh, he got Player of the Year, mm-hmm. and th- this <laughs> la- this lad said he didn't want to play rugby. All he wanted was play Gaelic football with Wally Hayes. Yeah. But now he's uh, he, he has a future in, as a rugby player. Brilliant! And he gets all the top tips from from yourself. What position did you play? I played in the front row. Okay. Number, so number three, tight head prop. Yeah. And did as you ever? You, as oh, it shows on, on the size of me. <laughs> did you ever have any major injuries or? No. Do you know they always say with rugby players, you say you know, in later life they're going to suffer with more aches and pains or 
you know, these injuries are going to come back to haunt them. But is that... Uh, I'd just say that. The, no, it's, it's said, yes, you, you can get injured, injured, but you can get injured yeah. uh, in any f- sport. sport. Yeah. But uh, no, the, the only real injury I ever got was breaking my nose. Yeah. Oh, that's... So that's, that's part and parcel. That's a <laughs> Yeah. Your arm could hit me and break my nose uh, and at any stage. It, looks, it still looks for a rugby player. No, it no, no, is, it's, it's, it's yeah. it Dr. Taft, it was. You know, know the whole like, cauliflower ears. I'm always so intrigued by that. Like, how does that happen? No, they, 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 a they, little bit of. You that know. comes from, from friction in the scrum. Yeah. I know I see a lot of like the players now wearing the, the helmets yeah, to kind of yeah. protect the ears. That's, uh, no, that's, um, that's uh, to protect the, the head. The head, so it's yeah. not just for the ear. No, but not just for the ear. No. Yeah. My, in my times, I wore a, wore a bandage on my head so to give me ears yeah and why does why does other players do that to just to protect their ears uh, laziness <laughs> laziness well, I don't know <laughs> no but, but you try and take a, yeah. you try and take a, a crap bandage off your yeah. of your head after the game so it's you might quite say so. no of course well uh, George um, I'm delighted that you came in to speak to us tonight and it's so good to hear about mm. your time with Leinster um, and that a cabin man amongst us um, mm. has earned such um, high regarded stripes in um, thank you very in, much. in in Ireland thank and you. in the county but thank you so much for joining no, us on just if I, could, if I could say something of course, yeah. uh, we were, we were always recruiting young ladies, we yeah. were always recruiting young men to play the game, so anybody's out there can always come in and join us. Brilliant. Well, we'll, look, we'll thank have you to very give much. a shout. Thank you so much, George Crow. Uh, I'd love to thank George for joining me on All About Sport. And just as he said, if anyone um, is interested in getting involved, uh, contact Cavan Rugby Club here in Cavan Town. So that's it from All About Sport for this week from the Cavan Crystal Hotel, Dublin Road, Cavan Town. If you want to, to feature on the show, find me on Facebook, Louise O'Reilly, or follow at Cavan TV Sports. So thank you for watching and it's goodbye for from me.